Hey everyone, it's Kristen. I'm back with book two of the Superhero Stamp album series, the collaboration between DC and the United States Postal Service. Um, this is 1910 to 1919. Um, again, you meet the heroes. And this time we have Aquaman joining us. You'll, you'll see why in a second. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they pick out, like, I think they specifically think ahead, like, okay, who best out of the superheroes fits this theme? Ah, Aquaman. So we'll just throw him in there because, yeah, he's he's the best one that fits this theme. <laughs> like I said, I will try, I'm sorry, to talk to not talk so much about the history. I just, I love history, and so I I tend to kind of, ramble on about it so I'll try to keep it like shorter <laughs> this time uh yeah so this uh is talking about Woodrow Wilson who was president um at that time he actually did I mean he actually did a lot um and you'll you'll see what like when we talk about this but um he also won the Nobel Peace Prize, as we talked about, like, uh, Teddy Roosevelt won it. Um, he also did for his work on the Treaty of Versailles after World War I. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> they threw this in here. Scouting, building tomorrow's heroes and heroines. Um, so you have, like, Robin, of course, like I said, anything to do with kids. There he is, because he's the only young member of the Justice you know at the time um and then wonder woman um and basically the boy scouts were actually started by a british guy but a american an american visited um and he got lost in the fog and this boy scout helped him out of the fog and he tried to give him money and the, guy, the boy scout's like oh no you know no i you know i don't a scout wouldn't take money for helping someone out that's just the way so this guy went back to the states and in like 1908 um established the boy scouts and then the girl scouts were established like uh no boy scouts were in uh 1910 girl scouts were in 1912 and then uh jim thorpe again anything that has to do with the athletics and stuff i've noticed that flash that's their go-to person. I guess that makes sense because he's he's really fast. Um, he won. Two gold medals in the um, Stockholm Games. He set world records. I mean, he played professional baseball, football. I mean, he was the president first president of the American Professional Football Association. I mean, he, you know, he served during, in the Marines during World War II. He was just a really awesome guy. But, like, I kind of wonder, like, how how do they pick these things that they, they choose out of here? How did they how did they pick that? Did they, like, tick? I mean, I don't remember because I was young, but um, did they, like, take a poll or something and I missed it? I don't know. <laughs> It just, it's interesting to see what they pick. And then you have Steele, who was talking about the Federal Reserve System. And this is basically when they regulated banks and, um, you know, interest rates and um, things like that to try to stabilize the financial economy of the U.S. And this, um, <laughs> this, this is interesting because you see in this, Wonder Woman's out of gallery looking at paintings of herself. Because it gradually goes from, like, realistic style to, you know, the style of, like, Pablo Picasso. And that's what they're talking about. How, when this art arrived at the U.S., in the U.S., like, nobody got it. They didn't understand it. Like, they, at one show, they even, like, burned a dummy of one of the artists. <laughs> I mean, wow, talk about not liking someone's show. <laughs> that was terrible. And this is just, like... Um, makes sense that they put Batman here because world's greatest detective, first crossword puzzle, like, uh, New York world, um, December 13th, no, December 21st, 1913. And this is George Washington Carver. 
who everyone makes fun of, like, for being associated with the peanut, but he came up with 300 different commercial uses for the peanut. I mean, that's, that's amazing. Like, wow. Like, I can't even tell you 300 ways that the peanut's used. I mean, that's amazing. Um, and he pretty much saved the whole southern economy through that. I mean, it's... And this is about, like, erector sets. Did any of you guys have one of those when you were young? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. I, oh, and Lincoln Logs, which was actually designed by the son of um, Frank Lord Wright, which, you know, kind of makes sense. Um, and, of course, like I said, uh, kids, Robin. And then they just threw everyone else in there randomly. Oh, and this is talking about the first, like, transcontinental call between Alexander Graham Bell and his assistant. So Alexander Graham Bell was in New York. And his assistant was in San Francisco. Um, so that was pretty cool. And that took place in 1915. And here you go. Here's why Aquaman's here. Because, look, it's it's swimming. In the, he's swimming in the ocean. <laughs> um, and this is about the Panama Canal. And I talked about how uh, Teddy Roosevelt was part of that because before they just before they did that, the Panama Canal, you had to go all the way around Africa, and that would have taken forever. But because they did that, they could just go through and cut through. Oh, and this again, Green Lantern, Charlie Chaplin. Um, he was basically the first. Like, American movie star. I mean, he, like, everyone knows. If you show someone a picture of him, almost everyone knows who that is. Even if they've never seen one of his movies. Which most people haven't. Because, I mean, they're silent movies and nobody really watches silent movies anymore. And that's, like, a, obviously um, <laughs> not something people do. But almost everyone knows who that is. And then... This talks about the Grand Canyon, and again, um, this is in here because it became a national park in 1919, so that's pretty cool. I've actually never been there, but I would like to go someday, and um, that's definitely on my list. And Jack Dempsey, the super fighter, and there's Superman, ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> um, so let's see. He racked up 42 knockouts. I'm sorry, I don't know much about boxing, so that's why I'm looking at this. Um, so he was an unknown still when he faced heavyweight champion Jess Willard on July 4th. Wow, Independence Day, 1919. Um, Willard took down the unknown dims. He took him lightly, and he, you know, basically he lost because of it because he got too cocky. Um, World War One. Unfortunately, that was not good. Um, it was supposed to be the war to end all wars, but ironically enough, it was followed by uh, World War Two, like less than a generation later. So that that sucked. That was not good. Um, so that's all for book two. Uh. Now I'm debating whether I should, like, start book three or just, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to um, give you guys a sneak peek of it. It's about the Roaring Twenties, um, and I will hopefully see you next time. Like I said, I'm trying to make it more about the superheroes, because I think this is a really cool collection. I mean, one person asked me... Where did you get that? Oh my gosh. Like, uh, I got it like 20 years ago almost, so yeah. <laughs> He's like, wow, they don't really make stuff like that anymore. That's really cool. I mean, and I think it's really cool, but of course I love history, and this is like history and superheroes tied in one, so that's probably why like I like it so much. But anyway, I hope you will join me for the next video. Until then, bye.